and welcome to the Financial Room. I'm your host, Natasha Bridgemohan, Mortgage Broker of Mortgage Intelligence and President of the Bridge Group of Companies. Today's topic is part two of the original topic we talked about last week, which was buying a newly built high-rise condo. Today we're going to be talking about buying a resale condo. So what's the difference? Very simple. All it means in very layman terms, someone has already lived and occupied that unit that you would like to purchase. So buying a resale condo, again, has a lot of perks, but there are some cons you need to look after and understand what they mean and educate yourself whether or not you want to buy a newly high-rise built condo or a resale condo. So let's talk about a little bit about the advantages. First of all, buying a resale condo is pretty good because it, it's established. A lot of amenities are turnkey. The building is fully occupied and it's maintained extremely well. And all of the amenities, as I mentioned, are already there. You're not living in a condo that's in transition in terms of having things being put in order while you're still living under chaos. So that's really good in terms of buying a resale condo and one of the major benefits. Also, an older building versus a newer building. So depending on a resale age of that condominium, the older the building, the more work that it needs. And under a condo, you pay something called condominium fees. And part of that portion goes to the operating of the, of the condominium. And the other goes in terms of putting money into a reserve fund for common area repairs, such as hallways, amenities of pools and libraries and party rooms that are shared, the roof, the parking lot, etc., etc. So if you buy an older building and you're buying a building with already very high condo fee and you buy just getting an inspection and, or applying for a review of the status estoppel certificate that shows you the financial affairs and the condition of the building, it basically tells you whether or not if you're going into buying an older building that you may end up getting in a situation that may cost you a lot of money afterwards in such as something called a special assessment. So buying a high rise condo that's old and it's resale, be careful that you understand reading those status certificates. Get a good lawyer on board to educate you whether or not there's a special assessment that you may have to pay after the fact. And these special assessments can cost you not 5000 not 10000 sometimes. It can cost a lot more depending on the area and the type of reserve fund work that needs to be done in terms of repair. So be very, very careful in understanding that. That is a very, very important thing that you need to read and get legal representation when you're buying a condo. Remember, review that status or estoppel certificate and understand the condo fee amount and the portion of where it's going for. Quicker closings, buying a resale condo is very turnkey. You can move in as early as 15 to 30 days, whereas you don't have to wait years to get a mortgage registration and legally own a deed to that uh, unit that you are a homeowner of. So these are good things to take a look at too as well. And of course, for financing, we're always here. As mentioned last week in today's show, we specialize in high-rise condo mortgages, some great opportunities, and a lot of the banks are offering a lot of purchase and plus improvement mortgages on condominiums, which means if you want to updo an upgrade a kitchen or certain things in the bedroom or a bathroom, there are certain things that you can get funding for at a reasonable competitive mortgage rate. We're always here for you. Again, for any of our previous shows, please don't hesitate to visit us on our YouTube channel or on our website at www.thebridgegroup.ca or toll free at 1-866-553-7467, 1-866-553-7467. Here at the Bridge Group of Companies, we are definitely your home of all of your financial needs. Until next time, take care and see you next time.